Hello, good evening, and welcome to our channel once again. My name is Bimbo. Now, are you a nurse that is looking for an international opportunity such that you'll be able to get a job abroad? Or you are into caregiving, you are a caregiver, and you are looking for an international exposure to be able to give back to you know, a community of people that will value your experience, your exposure, and be able to you know, pay you a salary, pay you uh, the, the worth of your experience, and be able to appreciate what you give to the society, to the community of the people that you'll be helping there. Yes, that is the opportunity that I want to share with you today. Now, there are some few organizations in Ireland that are currently recruiting international uh, caregivers and nurses to come to the island with many packages involved. In fact, it includes all relocation costs are covered by these employers. Okay, they will be responsible to provide you with a temporary accommodation for you and your family. They will connect you to the employer that will make your life and integration in Ireland very easy, very easy. They will also support you during your interview process because your success is their success. So as they are connecting you to an employer and the employer is scheduling an interview with you, they will be with you every step of the way, providing you necessary information and tips to be able to pass the interview. Pay you a salary that is worthy of the caregiving space or nurses space such that, I mean, the, the, that, that match the global standard of what caregivers and nurses are paid. And they will guide you through the reg registration process. Every step of the way, they will be there with you. And like I said, they will also be responsible for providing you a temporary accommodation pending the time that you get your own. And if you need other support, like picking you up at the airport when you get to the island, they are also there. So what excuse would you say you have? Now, stick to this video. I will be showing to you some of this organization, how you can make your application. Like I said, they are recruiting massively for caregivers and nurses to Ireland. So you have no excuse if you have experience, particularly if you have experience in the nursing or caregiving space. So stick to this video. I am going to be showing to you the details about this um, organizations, how you can make your application, the necessary document that are required to register with them, and every other thing that you need. Mind you, Ireland is an EU country, so which means the residence card that you'll be given there affords you an opportunity to be able to travel to all other European countries. Even if you want to reside in all other European countries, you can reside in, in, in it. So you have no excuse as a caregiver or as a nurse not to be able to explore this opportunity that I'm going to be talking about today. No. So, and as you all know, this is Jack Bauer with their days. On this video, we provide relevant information that will help you in education-wise or to get a job, to be able to move out of the country with you and your family without breaking the bank, okay? So if that is the kind of thing that you're looking for, like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop information and opportunities like this, you will be the first person to get notification. So without further ado, stick to this video. Let me quickly show you this organizations and how you can make your application with them. So the first organization that I'm going to be talking about today is called MMARecruitment.com in the island. This agency have an exclusive package for all international applicants, which of course I have already said, you know, most of them, all relocation cost is covered by the employers. They will connect you to the best employers in the island. They will support and prepare you for your interview, get a market-related salary and benefit for you, guide you through your registration process, provide temporary accommodation for you pending the time that you get your own, and also pick you up at the airport. And also, if you need career guidance as well, they will also be responsible for that. So, and of course, one of the most important things with them is that you need to be able to register your interest and they have about five steps that you need to be able to register with them. Step one is screening and document selections. Step two is interview and employment process. Step three, qualification and examination process. Step four, departure from your own country and relocation process. 
the five is where they will pick you up, assist you with integrations into Ireland and every other thing. That is how they provide their services. And, and if you think, if you if you have some particular, you know, questions that you will need them to be able to provide answers to, okay, they have already provided some frequently asked questions and the relevant answer for them. Now, are work visas available for international healthcare assistance in Ireland? Yes. Work visas are available for non-EU healthcare assistance in, in Ireland. These visas allow you to live and work in Ireland, but certain conditions, of course, apply to each of the job. Now, another question, what is the minimum salary requirement for international healthcare assistance in Ireland? International healthcare assistance must earn a minimum annual remuneration of at least 27,000 euro based on a 39-hour working week which correspond to an hourly rate of 13.31 uh, uh, euro. How long does it take to process work permit for healthcare assistance in Ireland? Work permit for healthcare assistance in Ireland typically takes around eight working days to process. So which means within eight days, they will assist you to process your work permit to Ireland as a, as, uh, as a healthcare assistant within eight working days. I mean, that is massive. What are the minimum English language requirements for carers in Ireland? Fluency in, in English is essential for carers' roles in Ireland to communicate effectively. Employers may require, may require proof of English proficiency through tests like IELTS. Typically with 6.0 to 7.0, you're good to go. Or OET, B to C+. Plus. Specific requirement may vary from employer to employer. So, which means some employer might even waive IELTS uh, submission if you can show proof that you understand English and that you have been doing all your professional activities in English. You can also get some sort of waiver. So, it also depends on employer that you're working with. Now, let's quickly move it. Are there opportunities for career progression for HK assistance in Ireland? Yes. HK assistance in Ireland have opportunities for career progression and can work towards achieving higher qualification in healthcare. So, I mean, they have asked and answered. And if you need further questions, if you have some questions that you have, you know, answers have not already been provided to here, you can send them an email or put a call through to them, the organization. And of course, if you want to register, it is just a very simple step. Once you click on apply now, it will take you to a stage where you will be able to create your application, choose your country, choose where you are, you know, where you would like to work. And, you know, of course, it is Ireland. You have to choose Ireland because this organization operates in different countries. So, and, of course, this is, these are the countries in which they operate in. So that is why you are seeing different countries that they, are, they, 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 they provide for you to take. And, you know, your name, your professions, you, you know, you fill all the required documents, you put your email, you attach the relevant CVs, qualifications, and everything necessary documentation to show that you have experience and you have necessary certification in healthcare or nursing space and you submit and they will be the one to match you with the relevant so, I mean, so you have nothing to lose they will be the one to match you with the relevant employer and also provide once an employer contacts you for interview they will be the one to provide tips and guide you through the registration process to be able to pass the interview so that is the first organization that i quickly want to talk about now the second one that I want to talk about is called Grace Healthcare. Grace Healthcare. Of course, let's quickly check some of their, you know, essential. I mean, these are the relevant role that they are currently recruiting for: assistant director of nursing, clinical nurse manager, staff nurse, healthcare assistant, activity coordinator, housing assist, housekeeping assistant, kitchen assistant, housekeeping supervisor, chef. So these are the relevant role, international people that they are looking for. And of course, you, all you just need to do is to open one of the, let's quickly check one of the role that they are currently recruiting for healthcare assistant as an example at Grace Healthcare, okay? Now, they are looking for uh, eligibility criteria, uh, PTAC level five or relevant qualification or studying for same current and valid manual handling, infection control, provide two written references, good knowledge of I, good knowledge of HIQA standard, familiar with Healthcare Act 
2007 care and welfare of residents in designated centers for older people, passionate about delivering outstanding care to older people, fluent in English, both written and oral, all successful candidates will be GAFDA belted, which is a, pro a procedure that they normally use to belt all prospective international applicants. Main duties and responsibilities, these are them here. You know, you can read them for that plan and deliver a high standard of individualized care to any uh, uh, person that they assigned you to. You know, they work based on shift and rosters, Monday to Sunday, and we include, and we also include night duty. You may benefit of working. These are the benefits that you stand to, um, uh, I mean, that you stand to gain. Employee Assistance Program, PRSA Pension Fund, Substantial Pharmacy Staff Discount, Circle to Work Scheme, Bus and Rail Tax Saver Ticket, Mobile Access to Roster Online, Rosters Issued in Advance or Availability to Swap, Financial Support for Career Training and Development, Rules on Offer Include Part-Time and Full-Time Opportunities to Progress Your Career, Monthly Staff Newsletter, you know, and a bunch of other available benefits, competitive rate of pay, you know, a bunch of them, you can read them at a set time. And once you once you love what you're seeing, just make your application, your name, email, residency, attach your CV, you know, and send it. And just, you know, wait for them to contact you. Now, another agency that I want to talk about that are recruiting, uh, uh, that are recruiting international nurse and caregivers into um, um, Ireland is called Rezomo. Rezomo, the second one that I talk about, of course, I've talked about uh, MMA recruitment.com. Uh, I've talked about uh, uh, Grace Healthcare, and uh, this is Rezomo. Rezomo is their name, and they, I mean, you can see these are the recent jobs that have just been recently posted, 13th of June, which means some of these jobs are just posted this month, okay? And they have a bunch of them. Occupational therapist, nurse practitioner, nurses, surgeons, uh, dental surgeon are needed. Speech and language therapist. If you know how to handle those that are within the um, um, uh, um, attention deficient children, Down syndrome children, you know, uh, and a bunch of them like that. So this is the type of role that I look at. Speech and language therapist, clinical specialist, speech and language therapist, again, occupational therapist new graduate staff nurse. So these are the, I mean, and you, of course, you can check each of them. They, they have them both for full-time and part-time, and you can sort them out based on how you, which particular one that you're looking for. But if you are an international applicant, I would strongly suggest that you look for a full-time opportunity in the island, because that those are the kind of job that will, re, that will normally uh, come with the sponsorship and every other essential, uh, benefit and packages we normally come with a full-time role and opportunities in the island of course you can do extensive research about them search each of these website i'm going to be providing them on the video uh on the video so that you can you know do extensive research and information and gather essence, uh, essential information about them now these are born out of my own personal research so these are born out of my own personal research and i will expect that you will do your own personal research register even if you there is no particular job that you are interested in any of these register with them drop your cv and continually update your cv with them and they will be the one to match you with or call you when there are relevant skills that match your resume and they will be the one to call you of course so like i said do your extensive research about each of these organizations and i'm sure you will be able to get an opportunity because they are currently and massively recruiting to Highland and you can move with your family. Of course, this is Jackpot with their days. Like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop information and opportunities like this, you will be the first person to get notification. So we come your way next time. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye for now.